Here we go! Right everyone, welcome back. This is a tutorial on the newest version of the 2 to 1 scale ARC-170 Starfighter. So I'm going to be honest with you, straight off the bat, this ARC-170 is one of my favourite ships in Star Wars. I prefer it over the X-Wing. Um, it's probably one of my favourite Republic ships in general. So I'm going to be a bit biased with this, but this is seriously one of the best looking things I think I've ever made. Um, so, yeah, right off the bat you can tell I'm quite enthusiastic about this one. Um, so... Up until about 12 hours ago, we had a completely different 2 to 1 scale Arc 170, and I was going to do the tutorial yesterday for it. And I looked at it, and I thought, I can do better. So, I will try and put one on screen. Um, I'll try and remember to do that. I'm quite bad for uh, saying I'll put things on screen and never actually doing it. But yeah, I'll put that maybe to the left. Um, of, of the new model, and it, this is just so proportionally accurate. So, I did the 2 to 1 originally when I first uh, started this world. That was the model that would have been just on screen now. Um, so yeah, th when I first started the server I made that and it's kind of just been tweaked a little bit uh, between like 2020 and now. But then yeah, I just decided to overhaul the thing, make it proportionally accurate because in between those two builds I actually did the 5 to 1 scale ARC-170 and also the 1 to 1 as well which completely changed the way that I, I looked at the ship. There was bits on it that I didn't know were there to begin with. So then this model just became essentially like a scaled down version of the 5 to 1. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this because um, yeah, like I said, it's one of my favorite ships in Star Wars. Uh, I'll give you some angles of this just so you can kind of see the proportions and stuff. Um, everything is just so well, pretty much exact to, to what it's meant to be in terms of the sizes. And yeah. We also have a new design for the Astromech on top, which just uses a, uh, a banner on the side. This is kind of the R2-D2 kind of style. Um, this may change in future if I can make this banner even better, but I will show you uh, in the tutorial how to make that banner design for the Astromech. And I'll probably do it once or twice, maybe in the next tutorial as well. Um, just so, you know, you can kind of get an idea of what the design is and then you can just obviously change the colors around per astromech oh yeah uh what else can i say nothing really um we only need one to one model as well but that won't be for a while and yeah let's uh, get into the build so what we're going to do essentially is the main body is going to be one section and then we're going to do one wing and then i will either do off camera the other wing or i will do it in a speed up fashion um, I may even split it into the engine first and then the wing will come next. Or wings, sorry. Um, in terms of a landed mode, I don't think the Arc 170 even has any landing gear to begin with. I think it literally just lands on this uh, flat bed thing here. And the wings obviously fold inwards. In terms of the folding inwards, literally you could just get rid of the wings and then replace all this with like quartz or something. And that would just be how to make it landed. So, yeah, not really sure if it's worth doing a landed model for it. Um, anyway, that's been a very, very long intro, but I thought it was a special one, because the last time we did a 2 to 1 Arc 170 was three years ago, and then the first Arc 170 was four years ago, so I think this is a nice progression. And yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the first two layers of the body, and let's go. All right, for the first section, you'll need white concrete, red nether bricks, nether bricks, quartz stairs, quartz slab, Dark Prismarine Slab, Polished Diorite Slab, Iron Trap Door, and Crimson Trap Door. So we're going to go to the center of the platform, obviously wherever you're building. doesn't matter. I'm going to be building the front of the build towards purple and green crystals, as I always say every single time. And we're going to start with just a top half Dark Prismarine Slab, and then another one, and then a Polished Diorite Slab on the back. Um, you can throw away the Dark Prismarine. I don't think we even need that again throughout the entire build. That's the only time... Do we need it? Do a white concrete here, red nether brick, and then a nether bricks on top, and then crimson trap door on the outside of the red nether brick, and flip those down. This is going to be a quartz stairs, and then we're going to do a temporary block here. I'm just going to use the red nether bricks again, and do iron trap door top half. So obviously we're kind of doing two layers here, and that's 
fine. The reason I did that was because this is literally just three blocks on this layer below. So it's just not worth it. It's not worth doing an entire another layer for that. Uh, so you've got the gap of three iron trap door. This is going to be two top half polished iron slabs. And then a quartz slab. And then now grab a smooth stone slab as well. That's going to go there. This is going to be a quartz slab. This is going to be a polished diorite, smooth stone, polished. This is quartz and this is smooth stone. Okay, throw those away now. Uh, just the slabs you can get rid of. Get the quartz stairs and we also need red nether brick stairs as well. And we're going to start with a quartz stair just here essentially. You kind of need it facing that way. Like that. So do one of those and then this is going to be six red nether brick stairs facing outwards. Uh, so that was six, yep. Yeah. And then finally another quartz stair just there on the back but this one wants to be cornered around like that. Do the same here. Two, three, four, five, six. Stair there like that. Take the uh, crimson trap door, do one just there, flip it and there, flip it. We're going to take diorite wall now. And we're also going to take red nether brick wall. Do diorite wall here on either side. And then red nether brick wall one and two. Finally, take iron bars. And we're just going to do one, two, three there, like so. Three here. And then two there, two there. So that's the first two layers done. So let's move on to layer number three. So let's go. All right, for layer number three, we're gonna to go to uh, this trap door here. Take these materials, polished diorite, block of quartz, nether rack. This is gonna be our like secondary red material, uh, kind of like a faded red. Yellow terracotta, quartz stairs, red nether brick stairs, red nether uh, brick slab, and then a polished diorite slab and a diorite wall. I'm gonna take the yellow terracotta. We just need one of these, and that's gonna go uh, just here like that on top of the trap door. All right, wall one and two, and then take the block of quartz. It's going to be one here, one there as well. Do the nether rack, and then we also need a, a red nether brick wall, and that's just going to go there as well. In the gap between those blocks here, we're going to put a white wall. That's a secondary white color as well. So there we go. That's fine. From there, take the polished iron. I'm going to do 10 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then take the quartz stairs. One there like that on the back. So that's starting the slope upwards towards where the turrets are. This is going to be a polished iron slab on top of the uh, quartz stairs from last time. Do two red nether brick slabs. And then with your stairs, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 there. And then this is going to be a diorite wall here and a diorite wall here. And that is not everything. One last thing here, crimson trap door, just one on the nether rack on either side. Flip that down again. You should have this. So if you can't tell what's going on here, we've got the nose that's tapering upwards. And then this is kind of the, I guess, foot where it would land on. So yeah, cool. Making good progress. Let's move on to layer number four. All right, layer number four, come to the back here, take these materials, this time polished diorite. Uh, we don't need block of quartz, actually, I should have got rid of that. Um, nether rack, red nether bricks. We also need normal nether bricks. Um, quartz stairs, and then these slabs here as well, and then crimson trap door. Come to the back, we're gonna do the polished diorite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just like that. This is gonna be another quartz stairs on the back there. And then also do two quartz slabs, one and two, one and two. A diagonal to that, so this is here. This is going to be a smooth stone slab, uh, polished iron, and then quartz. This is going to be smooth stone, two polished iron, and then one quartz. It should take you up to the same level as the stair that we just placed. Same again on this side. We'll get that out of the way. Okay, cool. Come into here. Take the nether rack. It's going to be one, two, and three of those. Nether bricks, one and two. This is going to be three red nether bricks. Nether rack there. 
nether bricks here and I'm going to take a nether brick fence that's just going to go on the front there like that so you should get this so far take the crimson trap door now we're going to do one on either side there skip two and then do three and again one two three flip all those down and now we're going to take a, a war, uh, crimson sign not warped crimson one two and three of those and one two three there and then take iron bars it's going to be one and two one and two and that is <laughs> again not we need white banners in there so this is just a bit of detail on the on the side here one two three four five of those and five here as well and now that is everything for this layer so let's move on to layer number five all right we're going to start this layer off by taking these materials we need a white wool block of iron block of quartz white concrete polished andesite stone quartz stairs diorite wall iron trap door there's a, a couple more you'll need as well but we'll get to those in a minute take the polished andesite we're going to go to this stair here one two and three and then in front of that we're going to do five more to make it six in total so one, uh, six there six here as well take the stone and do two and then while we're here white wall one and two white concrete one and two there and then a white wall in the middle then do three block of iron and we'll leave it there for now come to the back here do the quartz stairs there like that and then we're now going to take the uh, block of quartz and that's going to go here we're going to skip one do one there as well take the iron block that's going to go there and one is also going to go just here this is going to be two white wool and then this block here is going to be the white concrete and we'll do that again on the other side so one there one here white concrete goes there iron block here and on the end and then two white wool in those gaps Take the quartz stairs again, one and two, and we're also going to need a polished uh, black stone button, and that's going to go in those gaps, just there like that. All right, I'm going to take polished diorite slab now. We need a couple of those. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then this is where we use the iron trap door. That's just going to go there and there. Take a grindstone, and that's going to go just there where the stair is. And we now need N rod one, two, and three. And then finally, for this bottom cannon, I'm going to use a skeleton skull that's going to go right there on the back. So we've already got to the bottom cannon now, which is uh, pretty lovely. Take the direct wall that goes there and here as well. And now take a polished black stone stair. This is going to be the seat for the front cockpit. The cockpits aren't very uh, fleshed out on this because it's more of a display model. Uh, I don't really expect anyone to be sitting in it. So yeah, I will. So you've got that so far. Uh, that's a grey carpet. This is going to be white concrete here. Block of quartz. And then now we need snow layers. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six and I don't know if it's seven or not and um, we'll do it seven for now so seven and then this is going to be one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five and then this front one is going to be a nether brick slab and that goes just there yeah it is okay that's cool got that right so yeah this looks uh pretty awesome so far already it's uh, yeah like I said one of my favorite builds and I did it within like an hour uh, do two red nether brick walls there and two here as well oops and then this is gonna be a crimson fence gate the reason this is here is because there's a, a block from the engine that normally uh, connects to to the block that would be there so sadly I had to use something that wouldn't connect otherwise it would have looked a bit funky it does leave a little little gap under there and you can always uh, if you've got like a debug stick or anything if you're on a server you can 
detach it and stop it from connecting to the other block but um, I know a lot of people don't have that so yeah I thought I'd just do do it the best way I could uh, final thing for this bit is just an iron bars there iron bars there as well and that's gonna do it for this layer so let's move on to layer number I think we're on six now aren't we on two three four five yeah on to layer number six so for this layer I've kept pretty much the exact same block palette as last time and the only thing I've added is smooth stone here and then the iron trap door. I'm going to come to these trap doors at the back and do snow layers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Throw that away. Take the polish on the site, skip one here and do two of those. And two again. This is going to be a block of iron, 1, 2, 1, 2 and then join it in the middle. And then now we're going to take the polished blackstone stair again, one here, and then this is going to be a, another light grey carpet. There we go, and then we're also going to do another one, um, in fact let's do the blocks between first, three block of quartz, this is going to be three white concrete, one there, one there. This is going to be the smooth stone blocks, one and two, and you can throw the smooth stone away now, once you've done that. This is going to be the polished blackstone stairs and then the grey carpet. So you should have a gap of three in between basically, which is good. Take the block of quartz one and two there with a white concrete in the middle. This is going to be white wool here and then a block of iron. Take the diorite wall one and two, one and two. And we're going to take the nether brick stairs real quick, uh, the red ones are one goes there and one goes there. The uh, snow layers may do that and that's fine, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't make much difference. We're also going to take a white wall that goes there and then this is going to be an interesting block. This is the lodestone and I'm struggling to find it, I don't know where it is because I use it that rarely. There it is. The lodestone is going to go just here and that's just to represent a bit of detail on the back uh, between the two cannons. So that's cool. We're going to take the iron trap door, that's going to go just here next to the andesite block, one and two. And you can throw uh, these two away now, you don't need those for now. We're going to take the quartz slab and also the polished diorite slab as well. We need those just for a minute. So the diorite one's going to go there, skip one and do two, and then skip three and do one. Uh, same again. One, two there, one there, and then just quartz slabs in the gaps. And there we go. Cool, so we've got the back bit built up now, which is awesome. We're going to take the uh, black stained glass now. We need that for the bottom cockpit only. We're going to do two of those, and then take the polished black stained stairs again. That's going to go here. And then we're also going to take the black stained glass pane and it's going to be two of those, two of those here as well. My voice is starting to go already. We're not even done the wings or anything yet. <laughs> Drink of water after this layer. And that, yeah, that's going to be everything for that one, I think. So let's move on to layer number seven now, which should get us uh, these cockpits pretty much built up and everything. So yeah, onto that. Right, so we can actually finish the body in this layer, which is awesome. Come to the front here, take these materials, black stained glass, black stained glass pane, polished black stone stairs, polished diorite slab, polished black stone slab, grindstone and rod skeleton skull, dark oak trap door. Do the dark oak trap door just there. And then the polished black stone slab, and then two polished diorite slabs. This is going to be polished black stone stairs, two black stained glass, and two polished black stone slabs on top. Do two black stained glass panes on the side and then we're going to take a set of hmm let's use iron blocks here three of those go there like that with uh where, where's it gone there we go diorite wall one two and three one two and three you can throw that away now two more black stained glass two more panes next to it take another dark oak trap door that's going to go just here and then the polished black stone slab goes there 
Take the grindstone. One goes here. One, two, three end rods. And then a skeleton skull. Matches up nicely with the one from below. Can throw those three materials away now. We're going to take snow layer. And we also need white carpet. I'm going to put a snow layer there. One and two. We're also going to put one here and here. Take the white carpet. That goes on top of the red nether brick stairs. And then that pretty much finishes off the main body. We just need to do the astromech now. So take the polished diorite. Uh, not Actually, no, not polished diorite slab. Take the quartz slab and the smooth stone one. Smooth stone goes there. Quartz goes here. And then we're going to put a white shulker box. And this is going to be our base for the astromech. And that just goes there. Um, like I said, I will probably improve this design in the future. However, for now, I think it works very nicely. And then item frame goes on top just there like that. So what I'm going to quickly do here is take a very slight jump cut. And we're going to do the banner design. I just need to work out how best to do it. And then we'll move on. Um, and the banner designs for the astromech, by the way. And then we'll move on to the engines straight after that and the wings. But yeah, as for the main body, that is pretty much done. So... Yeah, let's quickly do that banner, and then we'll be right back. Right, so this is the banner design that we use for the astromech. Like I said, three times already, I think. This may improve in future, and you can definitely do it for different colours as well, which is what I'd done for the... Um, what was that I made recently? I can't remember. Uh, oh, one of the uh, Eater 2 Actors class starfighters, the Sokers one, has the, uh, the green, or lime green, actually, astromech on it. So, again, it's just these colours, but swapped. So there's only four different things applied to this banner. This is a white banner with uh, blue field mason, white perfess inverted. I don't know if that's how you say it, I'm assuming so. Blue fess and white chief. And I'll even do it um, on camera just so you can see how it goes. So blue field mason is this one. And then it's a white perfess inverted, which is going to be this one. Uh, blue fess is... I think this, oh no, that's Blue Chief. Um, blue Fess is, I need to think about this. Oh, it's the middle one. Yeah, that one. So, there we go. And then the final thing is a White Chief, and that is, uh, I'm putting the banners in. There we go. <laughs> that is uh, this one. So there we go. Two banners, exactly the same. Cool. And that just goes on the side of the Astromech, like so. Obviously, this is kind of meant to be R2-D2. So there we are. Anyway, with that, we can now move on to the engines. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the engines as uh, as well as the wings in one take or if we're going to do them separately, but I guess we'll, we'll find out, won't we, in a second. Let's get on to that, um, on to the next section, and then we'll be nearly done. All right, so to start the engine off, and yeah, I've decided we're going to do the engine as one part, and then the middle wing is another part, and then the upper and lower wing is another part. So it's going to be yeah, split into a lot of different sections here. We need these materials for the first part of the engine, which is going to be polished diorite, red nether bricks, red nether brick stairs, polished on site stairs, and the site stairs, diorite wall, and the site wall, crimson trap door. And uh, we'll also need a red glass pane as well. Uh, it's weird. This choice here, um, if you look on the display model, you kind of see why I used it. Because obviously the engine needs to be rounded off. I really don't like having to use glass here. But in order for this to look right, I had to. Uh, I could have used iron bars, but it just didn't seem to look right with the colours that were going on. So yeah, sadly that's just how it is. Um, and red nether brick wall made it the wrong shape, so couldn't really do that either. So the way to attach it to the body, we're going to put a diorite wall here. And then we're also going to take a andesite wall. We're going to do this quite weirdly here, but um, it'll make sense in a minute. So we've got the diorite wall, the andesite wall. We are also going to take a stone bricks real quick. Put that there. And then grab that stair back as well. Then it's going to be the andesite wall and then the diorite wall um, on this side actually isn't there, so that's that's fine. This is going to be a polished diorite right here. One, two, three, and four. And the side stairs there, and the side stairs there. This is going to be polished and the side stairs facing outwards. Red nether brick here, a red nether brick there. This is going to be a red nether brick stairs. 
and then an upside down one facing away. Um, so just there like that. Take a crimson trap door that's going to go just here and then another one is going to go there. Flip it, there, flip it and one there as well. This is going to be a red nether brick slab. We're going to put that on top um, just there. Do the red glass pane here and one on this side as well. So there isn't a diorite wall to mirror that one because this is where the wing actually attaches. So it's a different different block. So yeah, do a red nether brick slab on the bottom there as well like that. And then this is going to be a polished diorite slab just next to it. One there, one there as well. Uh, so that's the, the front of the engine then I guess. We're now going to take uh, polished andesite full block. And we do one, two, three, four, and then round it with polished andesite stairs. So four of those. Take dark oak trapdoor. One. There isn't one on that side, but there is one on this side. So flip that and one here. Throw that away. Now take grey concrete. It's going to be one. And then do an additional four to make five in total. I'm going to take polished black stone slabs. Now if we're in 1.17 um, or 1.18 or whatever, I would use Grimstone here or Deep Slate, whatever it's called. Uh, but sadly we're not there yet. So two polished black stone slabs on the top and bottom. And then on the outside facing towards where the wing will be, we're going to take polished diorite, uh, not diorite, sorry, polished black stone walls, two of those. On the inside to join this to the body, we're going to do a... Uh, black stone wall there, grey concrete here and then this is going to be a dark oak fence gate, just there like that ok take with the skeleton skulls, we need quite a few of these so if you're a survival player I'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah, that's how it's got to be one there, one there this is going to be one on the side here like that one on this side, one on that side and then on the underside we can't place them so we're going to use black stone buttons instead they should get that. From there, take the polished diorite full block, one here. This is going to be a iron bars on the left and right. That one does connect to the body, but there wasn't much I could do about that, so yeah, it's just the way it is. Take the uh, polished diorite slab one and two. I suppose you could change that for a stair, actually. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, change that for a stair and then it won't um, won't connect. Cool. Uh, do another one, two, three polished eye right there. This is going to be iron trap doors on the top and the bottom. And then on, on the side, if you have a debuff stick, you can do the iron trap doors uh, same as before. I'm going to have to use birch trap doors here though because uh, I want to keep it accessible to everyone, even people who don't have a debuff stick. Grindstone goes on the back there, and then finally to finish off the engine is going to be a skeleton skull for the engine tip. Cool. I don't know why I didn't think of that on the original model. I'm going to check that in a minute to see if uh, I did anything to prevent that from uh, connecting. But that is pretty much the entire engine done. Um, so you want to copy that over onto this side. I'm not going to do it on camera, sadly. Um, it just takes too long. And plus, I, I don't think I'll be able to remember everything that I did. So, yeah, just go back to the start of this section and mirror what we did. And then we'll move on to the... We'll do the middle wing first. So, let's do that. All right, for the... En uh, not the engines, the wings, sorry. Um, where is that? We need white wall, white concrete, quartz stairs, quartz slabs, smooth stone slab, polished iron slab, and then dark oak trap door. We'll need a couple of other things, but we'll get to them. I just thought I'd keep it a bit simpler for now. Take the white wall that's going to go here and then the white concrete and then take the quartz stairs one two and three this is going to be quartz slabs one two smooth stone slab in the middle smooth stone slab on the outside quartz slab in the middle take the dark oak trap door one two and three and then we're also going to do two two and two there this is the quartz stairs just there like that polished diorite slab quartz slab 
And then now we're going to take Iron Trap Door, moving on to the next taper downwards of the wing. So this is going to be a bottom half Iron Trap Door here. I'm going to have to work from this direction because that's where I took the uh, screenshot of the build from that I'm working from. Um, so it's another one down here and then to the right. And then it's going to be down by four to make five in total. Like that. We're going to take the Dark Oak Trap Door as well. We need to do one just here. Two. Um, again, I'm going to have to work from this angle here. Uh, it's going to be three there like that. Okay, take the Iron Trap Door again. One here. Two and three. And then we're going to do another three. Another three. And we're going to do basically until we get a 4x3 in total with the Iron Trap Doors. Okay, and then it's going to be a 2x2. Two two. So 1, 2, 1, 2. Should take you the same layer as that one. With the Dark Oak Trap Door, just filling in this gap. Like so. Until we get to uh, the same place as that one. And then we're going to do one extra set of Dark Oak Trap Doors. And we're also going to take red nether brick slabs and this is going to go just here like that and then do one and two one two three four five okay this is going to be a set of four so one two three four and again one two three four coming to the top side now take your snow layers and this is going to be real fun because we've got to do a lot of these this is going to be a set of one two and three three again and um, three again three again and then these are all going to be three like that okay until you get to there and then this is going to be sets of two so one two 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 two again two again two again two again just like that from there we need our crimson trap doors and this is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Okay, take another set of four here with the red nether brick slabs and then this is going to be two just there. Oops. Take red carpet. Four and four again, and then two. Okay. Uh, we will need to replace this one here in a second, but we'll we'll get to that. Now take grey carpet. Two, 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 and then three. Now I know there is um, meant to be like a little notch out of here somewhere, but I don't know where. I know it was on the model, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know why it's disappeared. I'll uh, sort it in a minute once we uh, once we move on to the next bit, which is going to be the upper wings. Um, so that's pretty much the middle wing finished. All we have to do really is um, do the cannon on the end, which is pretty massive. So we're going to do grey concrete, so grab that. And then replace these two with grey concrete and then just put those carpets back. That's two here, and then this is going to be one, two, three. Take Cyan Terracotta. That's going to go just there. Take the Great Concrete again. One, two, three. And now we're going to take a Stone Bricks there. Put one here. And we're going to do another one just there as well. Okay. We'll do the details on the outside first to make uh, make it a bit easier. It's going to be two polished blackstone buttons on either side. And also grab Dark Oak Trap Door. It's going to be one and two underneath it. We're now going to take Stone Brick Slab. Top half one goes just there like that. Two and three. Skip one and do another two. Take the Stone Bricks there again. We're going to do another one there. And that's going to touch the floor. Um, in the only occasion on this build that we actually touch the floor. So, yeah, it's something, I guess. 
take the stone brick slabs again. One and two are going to go there. And we're also going to take anvils. Two of those just here. Going up to the top, we're going to do another one, two, and three stone brick slabs. And this is going to be a iron trap door. Just one there like that. And then one, two, three, four, five bottom half one. Uh, sorry, top half ones there. Uh, so you should have this so far. Okay, take grey carpet. And we're going to put that just on the end here. Take the dark oak trap doors. That's going to be one, two, and three. And then up on this top side here, just to add a final stone brick slab, just there like that. That's the top cannon done. The cannons, I I would prefer it if they were in the middle of a block rather than being like halfway up a block like this, and um, because obviously we can't get like a, a chiseled stone brick at the end or anything to represent the actual barrel, um, which is a shame, but it it works proportionally. So, but I'm sure you could make a modification to it if you wanted to, to have more um, kind of one block wide cannon, something like. I know this is just a weird example, but yeah, let's just say, let's just say that's the cannon. You get what I mean? Like it's halfway up a block and halfway between them. So you, you can't get like walls or anything to make it thinner at places. It's a bit of a shame, but it is still pretty proportionally accurate. Um, from there, take a polished blackstone slab, and we're going to do one and two of those here. Three on top, and then a dark oak trap door, and that finishes off the cans. That's lovely. Um, so I'm going to check <laughs> where the, the notch out of this went, because I know there is meant to be one. Um, and then we'll do that in a second when we do the upper wings as well. But yes, copy all that over. Lovely job for you to do. Oh. Yeah, copy it all over and we'll move on to the final section, which is going to be the upper and lower wings. So let's do that. Right, so let's uh, crack on with the wings. Oh, um, also this bit is just, if you knock out one, two, and three and replace them with grey carpets, that's the little notch that I was talking about. There we go. So for the wings, we're going to go to essentially this polished blackstone wall here is going to be our starting point. And on the top side, we're going to do should we do the top or bottom wing first? It doesn't really matter. In fact, we'll do the bottom one. Let's end off with the top one. So this is going to be a quartz slab. And then we're going to go down by half a block. And do another one. So just like that. This is going to be a iron trap door on the... Is that... Yeah, the top half of that block. And then we're going to do two snow layers. This is going to be a quartz slab just here. Second one. Smooth stone slab, polished diorite slab. Do another iron trap door, two snow on top. And then this is a polished diorite slab here. That should pretty much connect with that. I know it doesn't technically connect, but it's, yeah, it's, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> uh, going down here, indent by one from the backside. So yeah, just there. And this is going to be a polished diorite. A second one, smooth stone. And then this is going to be bottom or top half iron trap door, two snow layers, um, indenting from the front this time. So it should be too thick here. Too thick. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's a quartz slab um, and a, a smooth stone one. And this is a crimson trap door. Um, you need it. Wait. Oh no, we need another one. So this is a, a smooth stone slab bottom half there. Um, and a polished diorite slab. This is going to be the crimson trap doors one and two, and then you need to do uh, two underneath them. It's going to be hard to place. Um, there we go. So two there like that, and then this is two red nether brick slabs. There we go. For the top half, so that is literally the bottom wing done. And um, moving up here, come to the same place on the polished blackstone wall. Remember, it's the back one. I can't stress that enough. Do it on the back, the back wall. This is going to be a smooth stone slab, and then half a block up is going to be a polished diorite one. This is going to be the iron trap door, two snow layers, 
and then this is a smooth stained slab, quartz slab, polish polished, and then iron trap door it goes here, two snow layers, and then this one is a smooth stone slab. Indenting by one from the back, do a quartz slab top half here. This is going to be polished, smooth stone. One and two, indenting from the front this time by one block. Two snow layers, this is very tedious isn't it? Quartz slab there, and smooth stone slab here. Half a block up, two quartz slabs. This is the crimson trap doors. And then finally, the red nether brick slabs. And that is it, that is the build. Um, I guess on this side, if, if we don't copy over, I, I suppose I could try and do sort of like a mock-up of what the landed mode would look like. Um, this isn't probably going to be very good, I'll be honest with you. Um, hmm. Yeah, in fact, I don't know if I even could. I'd have to probably think about it. Um, yeah, no, yeah, we'll leave it as it is. It's fine. Like I said, it, it's just a case of getting rid of all this and making it um, kind of slabs. I guess this would be like a slab here, slab here, stuff like that. Um, all the way to the front. Yeah, it's too too difficult to do on the spot while I'm trying to record a video, I think. So, oh well. Anyway, so we'll get this copied over and then you can see the full thing. We'll do a post-build showcase as well. So I'm just going to take a quick jump cut and then we'll we'll do that. All right, so here we are with the overall build. This looks really, really nice. Um, so happy with how it's coming out. Yeah, one of my favorite builds of all time, I'd say. Um, and I hope you enjoyed you know, building it with me. Yeah, pretty, yeah, I just can't stop looking at it. <laughs> so, please, like, share, whatever, I don't know what matters on YouTube anymore, but, yeah, just give it a, give it a share around, because this took me a, a while to sort of think up. I mean, I know I said I did it within, like, an hour, but the design process is, is quite tedious. And, yeah, let's uh, end it here. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. And, goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.